Welcome back to part three of InDesign CC 2021 Classroom Book, chapter number nine. When we left off, we had just barely finished styling these uh, graphs. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and figure out how to globally update styles. So let's go ahead and click on page number one in our page panel. Let's go ahead and view, fit page and window, grab the whole thing. And I lied, we really want page number four. All right, so let's go ahead now and click in the type tool. Let's grab the word beams. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and do type and paragraph. Now with type and paragraph, Let's go ahead and grab the paragraph rules from the from the menu. So remember, rules are not instructions; they are lines. So let's grab our hamburger menu, come down here toward the bottom at paragraph rules, and let's go ahead and choose our rule below and select rule on. Make sure our preview is turned on so we can see what's going on. And we want the format, the weight, to be half a point. So 0.5. I hit tab. I want the color to be tomato red. Red tomato. I don't know why I said that wrong every time. Uh, we want the offset to be 0 0.025. And we're going to leave everything else at the default, we like it, we're okay, so let's say okay. So now we're gonna go ahead and make that a style. I am not happy with that at all, are you? Let's undo that. Let's try one more time. Let's go into our paragraph. I don't like where I put it. Move paragraph in here. All right, paragraph. Let's go here. Let's go to paragraph rules. We want rule below. Weight is rule on. So it's in the right place there. And somehow it was the offset. I think that messed it up. Let's go ahead and 0.5. Red. All right, 0 0.025, there we go, 0 0.025, that's much better. All right, now it's not in the middle of green. All right, now we're going to say okay. So now we're going to go into our paragraph styles up here at the top. And we're going to see that we've got head plus three. So somehow it's we're telling it that it's been overridden in some way or another. So we want anything that's got this style to now have red lines. So let's go ahead and go tell it to redefine the style. So let's go into our panel menu and say redefine style. So now anything that had that head three now has that underline as well. So let's go ahead on our view, fit spread in window. We can see both things at once. Looking good. Let's do an edit, select, uh, or edit, deselect, and a control S to save. All right, we're going to now load some styles from another document. So let's go ahead on page number two and switch to page number two. We've got the fit page and window. Let's go type and paragraph styles. And now we want to go to the panel menu, come down here to load paragraph styles. It's going to say, what do you want to load them from? We want to go ahead and grab them from the end document and say, okay. It's going to say, okay, what do you want to grab? So we are going to grab the one that says drop cap body. So let's uncheck all because we don't want everything to come in. We just want this drop cap body. And you'll notice that drop cap selected as well because they're connected to each other. 
And let's say OK. It's going to bring in both of those. So now we can go ahead and go ahead and in this look for your tried and true, let's go ahead and apply that drop cap body. And it's going to go ahead and give you a large L that's been dropped a little bit. So let's go ahead and now take a peek at everything we've done. Let's do a control S. And if we go up to the top, we've added a, well, turn my display performance seems not on. It's on. Okay. We've got the drop shadow there. We have created the urban oasis gardens. We did the heirloom vegetables. We played with the different types of graph or tables. We created the nested styles. So you've learned quite a bit about styles in this one, and you're going to need to know how to do this for your publications. So really, when you get stuck, you can't remember how to go back, just go back and take a peek at this chapter because you will need to create these tables that are styled and the other elements again, I promise. So let's go ahead, do a file package. Let's go ahead and package it. I'm gonna make sure I'm in my lesson nine folder. And instead of folder, I want PKG and package. All right. Nope. Okay, let's go here to our folder here. So I've got my package. I should have fonts. We didn't have any links. So I've got IDML, INDD, .pdf. Let's pop back out, right click, send to compressed folder. Make sure as you're turning in this compressed zipped folder when you go ahead to submit the assignment. So I hope you're feeling a lot more confident in InDesign. Um, it'll be another thing when you open up the blank page, but just feeling out where are the tools, how to make them work, what can you do, gives you at least the reference point of, ooh, that was really cool, how do I do that again? So I look forward to seeing your chapter 9.